Welcome to GKN Thompson's chassis. There's been a Thompson's in Spring Road, Edinshaw for the last 150 years. But it didn't start at Edinshaw, it started three miles away at Bradley by the canal. That's Highfields Bridge. To the right, down the hill is Lady Moore. And this is the canal where William Thompson started his first business which was repairing barges and repairing and making steam engine boilers. There is the uh, siding he used to take the barges in and it formed a dry dock where he could do the repairs to the barges. He moved from here in 1868 across the road from where Thompson Chassis is now and his son took over directorship and his name was John Thompson's and that's the, uh, the name John Thompson's motor pressings Lamont foundry boiler shop Mars 1 and 2 water tube in fact it was a very large company in the early part of this century yeah. in 1904 in Davis Street and had four bays built which became John Thompson's motor pressings today there are nine bays and we're going in and having a look round before it's all there's Manor Road at the bottom of the street this office block was built about 1927 and this is Bay One we'll go in and have a look round And this is the uh, Bentley, used to be the Rolls Royce department, but uh, when BMW bought Rolls Royce, of course they make the parts for Rolls Royce. So all we do now is bend the subframe and down the bottom of this bay is the black cab, London black cab, the taxi, we make the chassis for that, we've made it for over 50 years, and then you got number two bay which you can see over the top of the sheet and that's the tour room. It's been empty now because most of the guys have been made redundant. Dave Andrews having his lunch break in the tool room. This is the tool room.
through from the main gangway. Defender boxing section. We only build the defender side members. And down there is the spot welding. The one grower and the defender side members. Bay, the rest of Bay 3 from the main. Away. Just used for keeping stores in good timber. Defender sides, seam weld them after they've been boxed. The repair welded here. go to uh, Telford to be assembled to make the uh, Defender chassis. That's all we make of the uh, Defender here. The rest is made of GKM Sankey. There's MP16 on the left, the main gangway. Right of the gangway is the plasma cutter and there is MP30. The next bar. And just follow the line down there. This is Bay 8. And here's Mr. Galley. I haven't got that job, I'm still working. This is where they do the boxing for the uh, Discovery. What I mean by boxing is they box the two sides together and then robotic weld them. And then they go back to Bay 7 to be assembled to a Range Rover Discovery chassis. The far end of this bay is the uh, paint plant. Down the other end of this bay is the paint plant. Bay 9. As you can see, it's only a small bay. We're now going back to Bay 1. That's Dennis Cooper and Andy Galley. Again, Andy Galley again, with maintenance guy, and Dennis Cooper, who's a development Cooper, who's been here 47 years, when he leaves at uh, the end of the month. This is the Rolls Royce. John. <laughs> and then drill the uh, part of the uh, subframe, one of the subframe arms. They bend the uh, motor car.
melting with it. Well, we poured the fish flame on. Message just arrived. Hot from the press. Very serious by the looks of it. Jeff Calvert again. I'm up. Okay. Very careful. Working the radio drill. Dave Alfield, Chuck Stewart, Norman Bailey.
Gone up. Doing a bit of maintenance work on these uh, robotic arms. The robots broke down. All goes down now is uh, reprogramming it and away it will go. Suspension arm for the Ford Street car. You're looking for a six-foot roll it on the other side of the road. Six
bacon.
where they box the uh, defender side to make him into a side member. Push him together and tag him together. And then they go on to the robot on the old RBC line for rolling, the team rolling. Three bay, that part down there is the stores. All the parts coming from various suppliers. The compressor, air compressor. And that's part of it. Press bean, press bean, sail bean, dismantled to be shipped out. Part of the press bean. This is bay four. The old IBC line, those are the uh, robots who are welding the side members to the IBC and now they've been converted to do the defender side members. They go into those booths and are welded by robots along the team. As you can see, they do a really good job. This part of number four bay is just used as a general storage area for the side members after they've been welded and uh, ready to be shipped to Telford to be assembled to make a defender chassis. Number six bay. Side loader, being driven by me. Number six, the press shop. The press that you're looking at now is one of the biggest presses in Europe, MP60. And here comes uh, Terry Perkins, the, uh, the line leader of the press shop. This is MP30. Pressing the side now.
King's work in the plasma cutter. Terry Perkins of the uh, press shop. Oh, my name's Terry. I'm Joe's best friend. <laughs> so, and uh, Colin Hayward. Work in the end. do the uh, the boxing for the Range Rover Discovery. Side members, they uh, box the two halves together and make a form a box. And then they go back to Bay 7 to the uh, Tempest line and they build a chassis for the, uh, the Discovery. Taking the uh, side members together after they've been boxed together. And if we go around the line, we go into the uh, steam roller. into the uh, side member and the, the other side will be put on the top and clamp together and tack and going into the uh, the steamer that's the steamer we clean through the steamer which is a robotic welding machine it comes on the back Repaired, if there's any repairs they need doing, and it's made and put into a trailer and taken down to number six bay to the uh, discovery line. That's the maintenance department. If you go past those stacking boxes, you come to the uh, paint plant. Number eight paint plant. If you're on this side, right and left hand.
Burası da İstanbul'un kızı şampiyonu. Then they go into the robots for the last time. And then they 
go on to where they do the repair well and then they put the uh, air suspension bracket on on this tyre and then he goes finally to the inspection and the stamping on the end of the line and then he comes off the end of the line and then goes to the paint plant Terry Smith is going to stamp the he stamps the uh, the number on the chassis and Jerry does the repair welding on this side. Put them on this truck, put three on a truck, and then I push him down to the pipe line and he's down there. This is the other side of the track now, starting at the front. That's George Cook. Roughly the same this side as they do on the other side. Low body crews. Tag a bracket on, weld a bracket in. This is number 8 Bay Paint Plant, where the chassis are pushed from the number 7 Bay uh, assembly line to go onto the paint to be painted. Roy Nichols, Alvin Angel and Melvin Molyneux loading the uh, chassis onto the paint plant.
paint plants. Des Early and Ray Calburn are working the uh, unloading of the paint, of the chassis of the paint. Des Early has worked at Thompson's for 48 years. doing a few checks to make sure the holes are clear. Then they will put them into cradles and they'll come to me to be inspected. and the security. No. Andy Gully and Colin Bynum and the security company. And that's Mr Andy Edwards, the paint technician, checking to make sure the thickness of the paint is correct.
Lane, worked for the company for 42 years, checking the uh, holes to make sure they're clear. And that's Simon Cole, he's doing the rear part of the chassis. Dave worked on the very first uh, development of the Range Rover and he worked on the last one. They go to the waxer. Where Simon Cole is now waxing the chassis. And that's Andy Galley, maintenance engineer, who's just repaired the uh, the waxer. Timers from Thompson's. They go now round to the car park to be loaded onto the lorry to go to Rover.
the, uh, the bushes in. Dave and Arthur Shirley pushing the uh, yeah, top of the Dave and Arthur Shirley pushing the uh,
and he's through. Lorry being loaded to go to Rover. We're now going to the Rover line to see the last chassis to be built on the Tempest line before we close down. The new one is going to be built at Telford. What I'm going to do is show a series of outtakes because people are on ships or people taking the jobs off, people who've going to tell have gone to Telford. And that'll be the end of the film. Chassis is now being stacked together. And some parts are actually being welded. But of course, with a time scale, they can only be uh, do so much.
got to be going down the line. The last one's in the first row, but boom.
Would you please welcome the what sits on the front of the, uh, the final chassis?
it'll be on its way to the paint. It's the last one. It will go on its merry way round there to the paint plant. Bob Pearson and uh, Andy Edwards, the technician and the quality inspector, inspecting one of the chassis. Yep. Okay. Uh, Arthur and Dave saying farewell on Arthur's. Uh, okay. Dave Owl and uh, Arthur Shirley. <laughs> Mickey Pew. Sanger is uh, holding the uh, part that he's going to hold on there. That's it. Mark is now going to weld it on.
Just coming on. <laughs> Bill Shinton and the Graham Chamberlain. And the two room. Two room foreman. Well, that's the end of the film. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've tried my best. I'd like to wish everybody who worked at Thompson's all the best in the future. Cheerio.